Hey bunnies, for this video we're going to be doing a review on the new Pride and Prejudice and Zombies lip gloss palettes or lip glosses and the eyeshadow and cheek palettes from BH Cosmetics. Now if you don't know what Pride and Prejudice is, it is a novel by Jane Austen and the scene is set in 19th century England. It's a really really good book. If you haven't read it, you guys should definitely pick it up and go ahead and read it. There is also a movie that came out I think in five and it has um, Kira Knightley as the lead in the movie the movie was also really really good again you know the whole 19th century thing and then now presently currently I believe the movie is coming out either this year or next year I think it's this year definitely this year I think it's called Pride and Prejudice and Zombies which is the same take on Pride and Prejudice Pride and the Prejudice filmed in you know 19th century England but this time with zombies so if you're into the whole zombie fad that's going on right now you'll definitely love part of the project of zombies the palette here comes in this gorgeous really really dark black green color here with the gold rising pride and pressure of zombies eye and cheek palette like i said before again it is by bh cosmetics on the inside when you first open it you have a nice rectangular mirror and then underneath it says i shall never relinquish my sword for a ring and that is said by elizabeth bennett who is again the lead in the book and the movie so this is the palette here you get 12 shadows and three cheek colors on my lips i am wearing a couple of these colors like quite a few of these colors and i am wearing two out of three of the cheek colors right now on my cheeks in the lip glosses you get five different colors and the pigmentation is actually pretty good for the lip glosses like right now i'm wearing the very very light uh like a pinkish peach color i'm gonna do a try on for all of these colors for you but this is what the peachy looking color looks like on me. Now jumping back into the palette, again there are 12 colors and half of them are shimmer, half of them are matte. Again, this is what it looks like. Those are the colors there. They are pretty pigmented but at the same time kind of chalky, especially the matte colors. Those are the two lightest colors there. I hope you can see that really well. But those are the two lightest colors in the palette. And like I said, it's, it's a little bit chalky, but it's definitely buildable, especially if you put a base underneath. The cheek colors I absolutely love. I apply it with a angled, uh, a dense angled blush brush. So it's not like the really fluffy ones. It's, sh it's shorter in, sh in size and it's angled and very dense like I just said <laughs> and then i just uh, generally go over my cheek right above my contour but below my highlight to give just a little bit of color flush of color before i forget i want to jump into how much i paid for this i ordered these in when they very 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 first came out and again i'm just getting a chance to film it for you but uh i got an email when this came out that the collection was available on the site and at that time when you went on the site and tried to find it you wouldn't have seen it so you have you you would have had to have gotten the email to purchase these products right now they are on the site and they are cheaper than what I paid for them I paid actually only one thing is cheaper hmm. for the lip gloss collection I paid 950 right now it's ten dollars and for the eye and cheek palette, it I paid twelve thirty five, and right now again it is also ten dollars. So for the lip gloss, I did get a better deal than what it is for now, but for the cheeks, I ended up paying a little bit more in total, including shipping and all that stuff. I paid twenty nine eighty. Okay, so that was that for the price, and then it just came with this little postcard that says. Thank you for choosing BH Cosmetics. And on the back, it says your perfect holiday look. To show you how long ago I bought this. Like, I got this like a while ago and I'm just not getting to upload. So moving on, like I said, the glosses, which I absolutely love. These are them here. And the one that I'm wearing on my lips, like I said, is this a very light peachy color here. Do I need to do this? For you to see i don't think so i think i just hold it up but this is it here it comes in just a regular standard lip gloss tube with the bh cosmetics written across the front what i absolutely love as well about this lip gloss is the brush the wand it's a very very small like super thin so like i said the wand the brush on the wand is very small so it will get 
all the way down here without messing up the rest of your face. You know, it will... It will help to line your lips without needing a liner, you know? Now, I have worn this color before on my wedding day to be exact. I, but what I did, I paired it with the It's My Ray Ray Color Pop Lippy Stick. Is it Lippy Pencil. I did the pencil first. I think it's Razor or is it Stingray? It's one of them. Whichever Lippy Pencil that she has, <laughs> that's the pencil that I used. And I put this over it and it was so pretty. If I can find a picture of my face of my lips I will post it for you guys to see but the combination was so gorgeous so with this if you're of a deeper complexion like I am you can always go ahead and do a brown liner or any any liner really and then put this on top and have a gorgeous combination or you can wear it on its own and have this really nice soft I want to say marshmallowy pink color it is so gorgeous it does not have a color name does it no there is no name for any of these colors but it is super gorgeous all right so i'm gonna go ahead and try on the next one which is going to be this pretty much the only red that's in the palette and it's it's like a pinky red you can i can see some pink undertones in there a little bit of orange maybe so I'm going to try this on really quick for you guys to see. Again, this is the only red that is in the kit. It, like I said, it has like a pinkish orangey undertone, but the color payoff is pretty translucent. You do get to see some color, which I do love. It makes your lips look, you know, like, like the, that bitten look, I guess. <laughs> but I do love it. The color payoff is really nice, especially for a lip gloss. It is a lip gloss not a lip tint or a lip paint or you know any one of those things it is a lip gloss it does have a nice shine to it uh, another thing that i do love is that it's not overly sticky like when you do when you press your lips you know you have something on there but it doesn't give that gooey that gooey sticky nasty feel that some lip glosses have you know it, it's nice it's on your lips it's not going anywhere well it it will go places but it's it, it's really nice i do love it and again this is the pinky red more red pink that's in the kit the third color that i'm wearing is this one here it's more of an iridescent pink it does have a little bit of shimmer in it it's definitely not something that i'd wear every day i'd probably give this to my little sister only because of the shimmer in it but again it is a really pretty pink color if you're of a younger age let's say around 16 or so this one is definitely for you but for the more mature ladies out there i definitely would not go with this only because of how shimmery it is okay so let's try on the next color the next color we're trying on is this one here which is one of my personal like favorite favorite favorites the pigmentation in this is ridiculous looking at the tube it reminds me of the it's my rare color pop stingray i want to say it's called the ultra matte lip it kind of reminds me of that but when you put it on like it will want to apply like a nude but then look so pink oh my goodness like it is so pretty it I would wear this every day this would be this is probably going to be my everyday lip gloss like this is so pretty so 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 pretty absolutely love this and I love how pigmented it, it comes off on the lips all right we have one more color to try so we're gonna try that right now did I look so serious in that clip just now I feel like I look mad serious okay next lip gloss final lip gloss that we're trying on that comes in the set is this really pretty nude brown color now this one reminds me so much of cocoa bean by gerard cosmetics uh missy lynn made that color with gerard cosmetic cosmetics and this one reminds me so much of this of that this is a little bit lighter than it i would say but the 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 the, the comparison is you know uncanny now this is the how it looks here in the tube very pretty super super pretty it also reminds me again of the color pop stinger is my ray but that one the, the the one before was you know a more match to it so if you were trying to get any of those colors the color bean or the it's my ray ray 
uh, stingray I believe and for some reason you can't guess it go ahead and grab this lip gloss set because it's really really good and for ten dollars getting what is it five glosses two dollar piece you really can't beat that all right and again the pigmentation in this one and the one before amazing like how it looks in the bottle is how it's gonna come out on your lips it is so pretty and all of these colors can go on a chocolatey complexion <laughs> like myself so if you're my complexion or even darker or a little bit lighter or whatever the case is go ahead and grab this palette because you will be happy with your payout all right if you have any questions for me please go ahead and leave them in the comment section below thank you guys so much for watching until next time peace sign and kissy face bye these are four tips for you girls out there who are about to get married and are maybe nervous